Hello. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for coming to the box room. The box room is, as it sounds, <laughs> got a lot of boxes in it. But they are not stored as efficiently as I would like at the moment. So I need to work on that. But at this moment, before I set the 4040s aside, because there's not much I can do with them, because I have not been able to find the, um, a video thing. Well, I found a video cable, but I don't have a monitor to hook it up to, because I sold it to a fellow in the States, and it ended up in a picture with something about Andy Warhol in, I think it was the New York Times. Oh, well, I will find some way to get a better look at these. For the moment, I'm checking discs. Good. Remember, of course, never, ever take a disc out with that light on. So I have, I, I think some of these are from magazines, probably from Britain. This thing is worth 50 pounds, they say. Expert draw. The next is Amiga User International. It's 57, 58. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. We had one that did not work. Oh. That's funny. Every time I say we've only had one. The other one, I opened the door. I blew in it. And it kind of came back to life. Huh. Well, look at that. I wonder if this one works. This is kind of a similar disc to that one. Do you have zero bad? Ooh. Well, considering how old these things are, that's bad. It is not surprising that we would have some dopus. Let's see what that is. Exclusive to Amiga. Hmm. Interesting. Trans Rich Jr. Du thirty eight. Anyway, most of these may have Saturday in interword. Interword. Du sixty two. This one's supposedly worth 80 pounds. Videoscape 3D. For you, 39. This might be. The U44. They do have numbers, some of them. The U44. Video Titler. Body blows. Workbench Management System 2.0. The U50. What is this? Podrex. Okay. I should bring my reading glasses. Let's just stick it in. See what's what. Amiga cover disc 36. Impressive icons. Even I could hit that. A frantic, no, frenetic, low, four way strategy game. Huh. Paper book. The 
U58. That's what it says. So besides checking these discs, this does give this disk drive a little bit of a workout. The U60. Indianapolis 500. The simulation. Let's see if I, uh oh, that uh, it come up as bad. Bad. Oh, well. What do we have here? I love this. Oh, yeah. Aegis, video titler, Daphne's disc. That's what it says. Video titler. And this one also says video titler. Well, that's what it says. Video tape. But these are just backups, which it is always very important to make backups because things happen. Or they can happen. Oh, that's something else. It's a tutorial. And its icon ends up way at the bottom. And this, I think, is also video tightener. Okay. Yes, it is. Backups are important. All right. So, what is this thing? Print Master Plus. This will come up. After plus, it does seem to. All right, so so far out of all these, and I haven't been keeping count, there are three, three that are not happy. Bad. And this is Amiga User Fifty Eight. Bad. And this is Omega User 57. That, oh, no, that's different. That's different. All right. So, here we have the disc of the month for. And they, oh, I'm gonna stick. Oh no, there's trouble. This thing is coming apart. No, 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 no. So, oh yeah, little wee pliers. All right. So this disc, right in this corner, is opening. And why? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with something of this nature. And I can't seem to get the little slider to slide. Well, that is probably one that needs to be copied. But anyway, just be careful when something like that happens that you make sure the light goes off when it gets half in and half out. We're kind of stuck there. And best to pop it back in, let it read, and get 
and little wee pliers. And then with great care, because you don't want to hurt the disc, you don't want to hurt the disc drive. Pop it in, pop it out. So that is probably a disc that is likely a wise thing to um, make a copy of. If I'm not, I mean, I guess you could also take some tape and very tightly go around it. You could. Alright, I'm going to put two pliers down. I'll pick up the disc. I should have been more familiar with some of these things back in the day, but I was busy doing things. There's not much in terms of a description. Of what is on these on the front. There just isn't. Otherwise, why isn't that going away? There it goes. Otherwise, I would tell you more, but it doesn't. It just says software in the month book. And sometimes there is more than one disk. Sometimes there is. But actually many of them look like they have three discs. Now, do I have all the discs that belong to these things? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, there's three in a row that look like they go together. Right, one forty seven, disc two, one forty seven, disc three. And here it looks like it's one fifty. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, took a little while. Seems to be fighting a little bit. So it came up. Here's one fifty, disc one of three. One fifty, this one. One fifty, this two. One fifty, this three. Always wait for the light. Don't jump the gun. At some point, I will have to explore these. At the moment, just finding out how are they. And remarkable, oh, that's weird. It just says B. It says it's Amiga Volume 147, disc 1. Oh, 3. Well, who knows? I mean, some of these could have been reused for something else. Well, certainly, living in a bag for years in a box, they have been mixed up a bit. Always wait for the light to go out. Always wait for the light to go out. The sounds oh, that came up okay. Sometimes when there's a whole lot of crunching, there is potentially trouble.
All right. Good. That's good. And this probably looks good. So these Last disc is always the hardest to pick up. So these are Disc of the Month Club. These are other kind of things that are not necessarily all just written on. And then there's the pretty labels. And here's, of course, the three that are bad, 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 bad. And here is the one that is. Oh yeah, it's it's opening right up. Why is that? Now it is possible. You know, it's funny. Earlier on, I did see some tape. It is possible. It's just a little wee bit of tape. Just a little wee bit in the corner. Good. And then put on very tightly. Could make this come in and out okay. Or it could get stuck worse. Let's see. And as it comes. All right, well, we'll put that in the pile. So, um, not bad. I didn't count these, but I really figured there'd be more of them bad than this and this. These piles, them up like, pile them up like poker chips. Oh. Well, it's like Christmas morning. Assuming some of these will actually work. Oh. Now, funny if you get a big pile of this, you certainly don't want to drop them. Let's see. Let's just do something here. As I put this whole big pile of ones with pretty labels on the top. I'm going to reboot, and I'm going to see if this disk will boot or not boot. And if it does, cool. And if it doesn't, well, got to try. So the machine is thinking. It is thinking. It is going to the drive because it always, if you put a disk in, it will try to do something there first. And it does seem something is happening. Huh. Something named Pong. Well, let's see here. Oh, my. Oh. Let's see, I'm not going to try and touch other things. I'm going to click on that. Body boards. Oh. Now, does this work on this version? I don't know. Does it have stunning epic sound? I don't know. Do I need a joystick? Probably so. But it's always cool. See, these are things that I don't know how long I've had them. I've never looked at them. I've never explored them. Never. And the disc chugging away. Two playable, two player 
Oh, yeah, we'll demo. Alright. So we'll just let this do its thing here. And maybe it will actually proceed to a demo of the game. Maybe there will be sound. Available soon for all one megabyte of medias. Or maybe this just shows pretty letters. Press fire to start. Two player, two player playable demo. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to. I wonder if I do this. What is this? Or this. I'm just looking around for a joystick, which I can't believe that there isn't one handy. There's always a joystick around here. I thought. Oh well. Maybe not. All right, we will do control Amiga Amiga. Pop out the disk, put it in the pile, and say, "Well, pop out." So these ones definitely need to be set aside, and maybe they can be resuscitated. Maybe not. Anyway, not bad for some disk that could be, you know. 37, 38, no, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33 years old? Who knows? I don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't see if there's actual dates on there. Anyway, the Omega 2000. Coming up. Was it 7 megabytes of RAM? And uh, I sure wish they used the same keyboard connector on the Omega 4000, but they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. So, I think that's enough for now. i got to get back to work on doing things in the box room. Remember, this is a beastly thing, beautiful thing. Um, and I was, I was thrown off when it said a A3001 upgrade, but maybe it was for the 3000. And who knows, maybe it fits in the 3000, but I don't think so. Because it does say, high performance accelerator board, da 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 or the Omega 2000. Which, of course, is the workhorse of the fleet. It is. And I am imagining that I could connect a hard drive to it. Because there is a cable. There is. There is indeed. One, two, three. 40 or 80 optional megabyte hard drive optional. Hmm. I'll have to see. If I can do that. And it does have, I always like the quantum drives, and it does have one of those pictured right there. And from what I remember, Great Valley Products, Inc. made good stuff. They just did. I am pleased that this is here, and that it is working. So, thanks for coming. Um, I'm not sure what the next video will be, because... I say I'm still hunting. I'm hoping that as I hunt around through the box room that I will find my A520 or a monitor that I can use the uh, oh the cable that I found on this cable is originally for an Amiga 1000 with a 1080 monitor that had the Amiga logo and, and it worked on others too. But if I could find that monitor, but I can't find that monitor because I know I sold it. Um, but it was, it needed to go. It needed to be that monitor in the picture in the New York Times. Anyway, if I should find something else, and there are others that use this, and I probably have them. I just got to find them. And I can probably hook up and just see what's going on with the 4000. But until then, I'm pretty much dead in the water with them. So I need to carry on with other things. I can't let these things stall me. As I have let the, there are still seven pets 
in the garage that I haven't been able to get. And I have let that kind of stall my efforts. And I need to not let it stall my efforts. I need to keep moving forward, forward, forever forward. So, enough for now. Until we meet again, keep your stick on the ice. And um, stay tuned. Bye for now. Oh, I will get up. I will get up. This chair, I like it. It's an old little kind of a watchmaker jeweler chair. But it's mighty low. Mighty low indeed. So, onward. Bye for now.